doing it, Ptolemy. But we all know what a pension and an exile is after 30 years' service. Doesn't your great pride fear the gods any longer? That's just a fight, then, as equals in war. Are we not good enough any longer? I remember a time when we could talk as men straight to the eye. I would like to say is religion does not kill anyone politics does not kill anyone guns don't kill people people kill people every person that they kill is, is someone's mother is someone's father is someone's son they must be responsible for that and the world is not getting better you, you can't fight for peace it doesn't make sense we need to just start to love each other a little more and allow each other to be different we don't have to challenge each other. We should live side by side. Mm -hmm. What has been wonderful, my experience here at the temple, is that all religions are welcome yeah. to sit by side by side yeah. mm -hmm. and to meditate mm -hmm. and to find peace within themselves. And if they find peace within themselves, they'll find peace within each other. It's OK to have different beliefs and different religions, but yeah. we all live in a world together. The borders between countries should unite us, not divide us. You know? I think that, that the leaders of the world should sit down and talk. If we can learn from experience, it's that war doesn't work. But I think that it all starts with the man in the mirror. And so if we can find our own peace, then we can see the world differently and accept and love each other and let us be different and let us live side by side together in yes. harmony with our differences. I do at least half an hour a day. Normally, I, I, I've been doing twice a day now, before I, I sleep mm -hmm. and when I wake, because uh -huh. sometimes my days are so full. I try to, just to start the day, I feel better if I do just a little 20 minutes, half an hour. And that is the problem right now with most, most, most of the world. The, the yeah. people are, are, are not content with themselves and, and, and thus not content mm -hmm. with anyone else. A lot of anger in the world, a lot of uh, hatred and... People are killing themselves and other people. I mean, yeah. that was not why we were, we were created. Mm -hmm. There's so many wonderful things we can do. Mm -hmm. And when I met the abbot, he had a very special quality about him, and I wasn't sure what it was. And I was fascinated by him. First time I saw him, I felt like I knew him before from, it sounds strange, but I felt like I'd known him. I was very comfortable with him, and I trusted him instantly. But I felt like I knew him before, and uh, I was quite moved. When I left, I felt very strange for, for maybe one week. And there was something about him that, that, um, that affected me. Not only was he a wonderful man, but I, I, there was something, there was a familiarity or something. Yeah. And, I, and I thought also, there's many things I can learn from him. It was a wonderful experience. I would like to share with you my best meditation experience I had while doing the middle way retreat. Well, all I can say is the whole thing was amazing. Uh, right from the start to the end, it just felt like one great big meditation. When I first got here, my, my mind was bombarded with all of my thoughts. And soon, soon after that, I learned to relax my mind and just go with the flow. But I would have to say the best experience I had was every day was a new experience and every day was the best experience. But just going back to the experience I had this morning, I had, I can remember walking into the meditation room, sitting down and going through the process, breathing, relaxing and going with the flow, just remembering what my mentors and what the monks have told me. And then settling the mind just slowly relaxing, focusing on the center of my body. I started to visualize very, very clearly a very bright jewel right in the center of my body. And I held that jewel there for a long, long time. 
And as the, as the thoughts would come in, I would let them go, you know, and just go back to that jewel. So the feeling was amazing. It was just a feeling of peace all the way through. And just the whole time, I just kept focusing on this, this bright white jewel. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. And, and then when the meditation had finished, and now I feel great. This is, this is how I feel like half an hour afterwards. A feeling of bliss and a feeling of peace just as I arose. I really love about the retreat the most, the mentors, the monks, and the people I shared my retreat with have been absolutely amazing, and I will cherish this experience always. Wishing to take your practice to a higher level, we invite you to join the first Middle Way Advanced course being held for one month from November 21st through December 19th, 2010 at the Power of Peace House with 10 days of meditation in the picturesque setting of Chiang Mai, Thailand. For more information or to apply, Please contact us at 082-3333-082 or visit us online at worldwideweb.meditationthai.org. Come and experience a deeper peace from within. Calling real men from all over the world who are 20 to 55 years of age, in good health, and can speak English. If you are interested in learning about meditation, Buddhism, and Buddhist culture, and want to experience the simple and carefree life of a Buddhist monk, this is your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to join us in the monthly international ordination program. The second session starts from the 8th of November to the 5th of December 2010. Take advantage of this great opportunity to find true happiness while practicing the art of meditation. Experience the tranquility and serenity of monkhood. Space is limited, so apply today. For more information on how to apply, please visit www.ordinationthai.org O R G or call zero eight one five four seven five eight zero zero.